Hey guys, how's it judo? This video is about basics of kumite grip fighting, the most important judo video. These moves are not flashy, but mastering these moves improves your judo quickly. Watch this video all the way to the end. Surate. How to grip. Ensure when gripping surate, the emphasis of power is on the little finger. Raise your wrist up. Press against the opponent's collarbone or chest. Roll the collar inwards a little. Raise your wrist. By doing this, you can firmly transmit the power to the opponent. If you hold the grip normally, the grip will be weak and it can be broken. Wrap the gi inwards and make sure your wrist is up and it won't come off. If you make sure that your wrist is up, it will be peeled off. If you turn your wrist inwards a little, when your wrist is up, it will make sure your wrist doesn't come off. It is correct to keep the wrist up. However, if you only keep the wrist up, it will be peeled off. So turn your wrist inside a little, and when your wrist is up, it won't come off. By doing this, the gi will be hooked into your fingers and it will be difficult to peel off. You will have the advantage when attacking and grip fighting. Hikite If your grip hikite normally, it will be peeled off easily. Peeled off To prevent this, grab with a little finger first. Then gather the gi and make wrinkles with your thumb. But keep making wrinkles starting with one, then two, then three. A wrinkle should create this image. You create a single layer of crease, the grip can be broken. If you ensure to grip like this with the wrinkles, it will be difficult to break the grip. Even if the opponent resists and tries to peel off the grip, you can continue to hold the gi. When you create a single layer of grip, the grip can be broken. If you ensure to grip like this, it will make it difficult to break the grip. Sabaki Do not grip fight in this zone. From this situation, the distance to the opponent collar is too far. But from this situation, the distance to the opponent collar is close and you can grasp it quickly. If your hands are too close to your body, you will not be able to respond. Do not extend your elbow straight and locked out. This is a dangerous situation. Try to grip fight in this distance. Try to grip fight in this distance. If you focus on the tip of your opponent's hands, you will be too slow. It is better to perform the sabaki aiming at the elbows and the forearm. Like this. You can catch the opponent's hands. Don't aim for the opponent's hands from the beginning, but do this instead. Aim for this part of the arm. Like this. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think of this video? Please like, comment and subscribe and tune in next time for more application of Kumite.